Welcome back. In this video we're going to be practicing how to set up your GPS to collect data. Let's talk about preparing your Rhino 120 for data collection. The Rhino naturally begins with the radio on. However, having your radio on can interfere with proper data collection if people are pulling each other's locations. So, the first thing you want to do is take your mouse and go to the second square over and go down to turn radio off. You'll notice that there's no longer a channel or code number. That means that you can no longer receive radio signals which will be beneficial when you are trying to collect data. Another important thing to consider when collecting data is whether or not you have old data on the computer that you don't need there either because you need more space or because you don't want data getting confused with new data. So I'm going to press the page button I'm going to go over to the main menu page I'm going to go to find and go I'm going to click on waypoints and it's asking me if I'd like to see waypoints that are either by name or nearest and in this case I'll just say nearest oh no look there's all kinds of waypoints listed on here that I don't want there so I'm going to use the mouse I'm going to go over to the second box over here I'm going to say delete all it's going to ask do you really want to delete all the waypoints I'm going to say yes now I have a nice clean slate to add new data I can press the buttons and get back to work. Ever since about the time that Christopher Columbus discovered that the world was round, we've been having a really hard time figuring out how to make a map. Here's an experiment that you can try at home. Take a beach ball and some wrapping paper, some scissors, and maybe a little tape, and try to wrap the beach ball without leaving any wrinkles in the paper whatsoever. So you probably discovered that it isn't easy to make a map of something that's round. Usually you have to make different kinds of slices. Here are some examples of some map slices and some ways of laying out maps that have been used in the past. To make a round map. GPS unit also has several different kinds of maps built into it that you can use. It's important to choose the right kind of map for the data that you're collecting and to make sure that everyone using the GPS's has the same map coordinate system collecting data. Since one of our goals of utilizing a GPS unit is to learn how to transfer that data into maps, there's some important information you need to know about how to set up map data. Turn your pages
until you come to the main menu. Use the mouse and scroll downwards until you get to setup. Click the mouse in at setup. Go to Units and press the mouse in. There are several different formats for position formatting that you can choose from. Primarily the ones that we will be most focused on using are going to be this one with the HDDD.DDDDDD which is latitude and longitude in decimal degrees this one with all the M's which is latitude and longitude in decimal numbers or this one with the S's which is latitude and longitude in degrees minutes and seconds as you can see there are many other forms of position formatting depending on where you are in the world let's put ours on latitude longitude in decimal numbers secondly there are many different kinds of map datum like we showed you trying to wrap a beach ball all these different map datums are ways that maps can be laid out to be read and there are a lot of them there are usually only a few that are going to work in any specific area the default that this particular GPS comes with is WGS 84 and it is frequently recommended. Another typical map datum is the continental US NAD 27. The important thing is to make sure that all of your GPS units have this information set up exactly the same. The other important point is depending on what kind of map you plan on importing this data into later, the map and the GPS should also have these things set up similarly. Another important element when collecting data on a GPS is to remember to keep it written down on paper as well. Write down your coordinates for each waypoint that you set.